Are you good? Yes or no? Yes, I think I heard mostly yeses, and that is wicked awesome. And if you did say no, that's okay. I'll send you some love. Okay, today we are going to practice counting teen numbers, but we are going to use it with groups of 10 and ones. Now, this is the thing that I see that gets a little tricky. We know there are 10 in here, but right now let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. We know this is 10. 10 and then one more would make 11. This is the tricky part. Friends, after they know it's 11, they've counted it, they say, I say, how many is that? And instead of going 10, 11 and counting on, they count it again. They go one, two, three, four. And that just takes way too long. We're just taking way longer to count when we just, we know this is 10, no matter what, it's 10, 10, 11. So we're making it go faster when we count, if we just know and we remember, this is 10, this is 10, 10, 11. Now, to make it fun and spooky for October, we're going to use zombies and spiders. Of course we are, it's October, it's going to be amazing. So you will need your helper, which is the grown up that's with you to help you get your supplies. All you need are numbers 11 through 19. All those numbers, that's it. That's all we need for this job. Okay, so go ahead and have your helper, get your supplies and meet me back here so we can check our schedule. Okay, friends, let's check our schedule. We only have one job today. We are going to practice counting those teen numbers, but we're going to use zombies and spiders. And then when we get to the star, of course we'll be all done. So let's go. Okay, friends, let's get started. Make sure you have your numbers 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So we can get started with our zombie and spider counting in the teens. Okay, as a reminder, we know that if we have this fraud, I think that's what we usually call them. This has 10 cubes in it. Let's count them just to be sure. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, there are ten in this little rod and that nothing's going to change. It's always going to be ten. So if I pick this up and say, how many are there? How many are there? Ten, you're right. Could there be five in this stack? Nope. Could there be 20? Nope. There's only ten. This is a ten this is a 10. It's just a 10. Okay, so we have 10, and then this is how many? One. You're exactly right. Okay, so when I say let's count these, okay, let's count. Do I need to count all of these cubes again to figure out there's 10? No. I mean, I could do that, but it just takes way longer to count. Watch, I can just go 10, 11. Or I could try it the old way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. <gasps> Ooh, which way was faster? The first way or the second way? Definitely the first way. 10, 11. Okay, that is what we are going to practice. Now, just so we don't get confused and we try to keep counting these, <gasps> do you remember what I said we were going to use? Meow. Zombies! Okay, so a zombie is 10. How many is a zombie? 10. You got it. All right. So I'm going to move this. Ten, ooh, way, okay. There we go. I'm going to move this 10 here and I'm going to put this here. So we remember that the zombies are 10. Okay. And how many, how many cubes are these? Oh, just one. Okay. So one there. And what were we going to use? A spider. Okay. And the spiders are ones. Okay. So if we were going to count without these, we would say 10, 11, Remember, he is 10. Okay, so we're going to move this back so we don't forget that this is 10 and we don't forget that the spiders are a 1. It's like our little key. Actually, let's move it to the side. Okay, just in case we need a reminder. Okay, let's get started. I am going to put some zombies and spiders out and then we are going to count together and figure out what number we have. Here we go. Okay, our first amount of zombies and spiders. Now remember, this is how many? Oh, you're right, 10. Okay, and this is how many? How many are the spiders? 
Yep, you got it. Just one. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to start 10, 11, 12, 13. You got it. Okay, let's count that together. Here we go. 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, look at your numbers. Find your 13. Oh, awesome. It's a one and a three. So here's our one, our one group of 10 and our three little ones. Here we go. 10, 11, 12, 13. Yes. Okay, let's do the next one. Okay, here's the next one. Let's count. We know our zombie is worth 10. Okay, and our spiders are worth one. Here we go. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. You got it, 15. Okay, let's count it again. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yes, awesome. Okay, find your 15. Oh, awesome. Some. You should have a 15, a 1, and a 5. We have one group of 10s, so just one. And then our five ones for our 5. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yes! Okay, let's do the next one. Okay, here's our next one. We have our zombie, which is worth 10, and our spider, which is worth 1. Okay, let's count. 10, you got it, 11, 10, 11. Okay, look at your numbers, find 11. Oh, excellent. I know a lot of my friends have two ones for one group of 10 and just one, 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 one. Yes, okay, let's see what's next. Okay, here's our next one. We know our zombie is worth how many? You got it, 10. And our spiders are worth how many? Yep, just one. Okay, here we go. 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, nice, 14. Okay, let's count them again. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, look at your numbers. Find your 14. So a one group of tens and four ones. Oh, excellent. You should have 14, a 1, and a 4. 10, there's our 1, because we only have one of those, and then 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. <gasps> excellent. Okay, friends, two more. Here we go. Okay, here's our next one. We have our, our group of what? 10, yep. And our spiders are how many? You got it, one. Okay, here we go. This time, I want you to count them all by yourselves first. Remember, we have a group of 10, so start with 10. Here we go. Oh my goodness, do it one more time. Yes, 10, 11, 12. Wow, that was awesome, okay. Find your 12, and sometimes that's tricky to find a 12. Remember, one group of 10 and two ones. That should help you find the number 12. Oh, yes it did, look at that, 12. So 10, 11, 12, yes! Okay, we have one more, let's do it. Okay, last one. All right, we have our zombie, which is worth how many? 10, good. And our spiders are worth how many? One, just one. Okay, again, I want you all to count them all on your own. Here we go. Wow, that was awesome. Do it again. Here we go. Woohoo! Oh yeah! 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh my goodness. Okay, find your 16, everyone.
Oh my goodness, I think everybody has it. They know it was one group of tens and six ones for our spiders. 16, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Excellent job. There was no tricking you. That was amazing. Okay, friends, let's check our schedule. Check schedule. Wow. Oh my goodness. You all are amazing. We were practicing counting those teen numbers with the zombies and the spiders, and we did it. We kept the little rods and the little ones. We kept that around to help us remember because sometimes when we're counting, we might actually use these maybe in school. But for fun, we were just using a zombie for the tens and the spider for the ones. Just makes it a little more exciting. Okay, but guess what? You all did it, and you did amazing. Let's check that out. Ready? Check. Okay. Oh! And look at that. We made it to the star. You know what that means. We are all done. Big heart for you. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can learn with Mrs. Huey. Bye. It's Huey time. Bye.